Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US started there going through a relatively turbulent session there as uh, Janet Yellen's um, minutes came out. Uh, very dovish on the on interest rates, had a short term impact on the dollar, which uh, did reverse course for about five seconds and uh, is now firmly uh, heading back into positive territory. Big gains on cable, your dollar, uh, and um, and dollar yen, and um, that kind of um, kind of short term impact uh, has hit a little bit of equities and also crude oil West Texas. As um, even though they, they say there's no rush to raise the interest rates, I think if you take the GDP figures, the potential non farm payroll figures on Friday, the fact that ADP was quite good as well, is that the uh, the US is going to be faced with a rate ri rise sooner rather than later, regardless of the rhetoric coming from the Fed. And the market seems to be reacting in that way as well. So um, US therapy drifting lower needs to take a little bit of heat out of there as well because it's been just going great guns for such a long period of time. We could do with a little bit of um, a little bit of a, of, of a mini sell off, and uh, we know it has come down ever so slightly the last couple of sessions. Next potential support sixteen seven thirty eight on um, US thirty. UK one hundred not quite showing that same uh, that same pressure. They were very volatile over the last six seven sessions. Long the candles both directions. 6774 looks to be strategic in the short term. Uh, I don't think uh, today's any different. Uh, though I can see European markets feeling the pressure, especially the uh, Germany 30 this morning. Japan 225 smashed it yesterday, getting up close to potential resistance 15828. A uh, bit of a reversal this morning. Surprising considering you've got such a big move in dollar yen, but in reality, I'm sure that's just a bit of profit taking or potential profit taking, I should say, uh, after such a, a strong run up right here. Finally, Japan 225 springing into life. If you have a look at that dollar yen move, that is a significant technical move. Uh, a breakout above potential resistance, one or two spot 90, but it was a false breakout. We're on the wrong side of that potential resistance right now, but we are retesting it. And a break and close above that opens up one of the three spot 77, and that would provide a an element of support um, to push Japan to do five a little bit higher. So we talked before about uh, an, you know, an earlier rate hike would... Um, be painful for equities, good for the long term, painful for the short term. Uh, and same with Korea West Texas as a growth, global growth story aspect. If the US raises rates sooner rather than later, that could um, hurt global demand ever so slightly. And that's why we're seeing such a big move on um, West Texas crude yesterday in the back of the Fed's minutes, where people really reading between the lines, even though it was quite dovish rhetoric uh, from the Fed, um, you know, the writings on the wall, they have tied themselves into that employment data and I think most traders are believing it's going to be relatively positive. Gold surprised by not feeling the pain as much as you would expect. Usually gold is very interest rate sensitive, dollar positive sensitive, but it's just hugging 1295, which has been a level that's been in play and has been a subject of many technical conversations for a long time. I think we might be in a descending triangle formation right here, which means we're going to break out one direction or the other. Um, but 1295 looks to be strategic in the short term. Euro dollar still feeling the pain. Obviously, uh, Eurozone countries uh, not looking so uh, so bullish. Germany surprising with weakness. Portugal is in trouble with uh, their biggest uh, biggest bank posting an almost 4 billion euro loss today. Uh, lots of pressure on there. And obviously, lots of positive dollar momentum as well. So um, looking at one spot 33 is the next potential um, support, followed by one spot 31.93. Um, and there will be a lot of uh, a lot of kind of traders looking at your dollar. There's a lot of um, German and US data due out uh, today and tomorrow. We'll cover that in just a second. And finishing up with GBP USD, feeling the pressure there. Uh, this is you know quite a multi-session uh, loss that we've had here. I think from a percentage basis, let's actually have a look to see what that actually is. Uh, from the close right here, that is a 1.4% drop. Um, looks to be one spot 69.23 as the broken uh, support now acting as potential resistance. You can see it broke through it and as having a chance to retest it again, it's failing to do so. And um, if we have a look at that economic data, we've got German employment data, Eurozone employment data. That's obviously going to be quite big for, um, for Euro dollar. Um, we do have jobless claims in the US and we've got PMI. Um, and the US as well, 2.45 UK time. Fast forward on to Friday, you've got German PMI, UK PMI, uh, US jobless, uh, sorry, US non-farm payrolls, employment rate data, and you do have um, University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey and uh, US manufacturing PMI. 
and all of that fundamentals coupled with all the technical levels right here this is probably one of the more exciting times you're going to find in the market and um, you know just keep you keep your eye on the chart forum for updates from our global analyst team in regards to some of these technical levels make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward to cmc markets insights insights directly from our global team and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next